and gentlemen, today we'll be looking at the interface of CorelDRAW. But while looking at the interface of CorelDRAW, we'll be comparing it together with the workspace of CorelDRAW. Now, the first thing I want you to know on CorelDRAW is the most important thing. Whenever you're working, CorelDRAW does not save your work automatically. So whenever you're working, I want you to have that habit of always saving. So if you want to save, you always press your Ctrl S. Or if you don't want to press Ctrl S, you can just come here, yeah, click on File, and you click on Save. Okay, now, let me start by explaining the title bar. The title bar helps you uh, uh, to show the name of the current page you're working. Like this particular play page I'm working now, it's saved with, in with interface. But ordinarily, let me have a new page. Let me have a new page. Um, ordinarily, if you have a very fresh page, uh, the title, the title bar is gonna be untitled one. It means that is a new page untitled. You haven't saved it. So that's what I mean by our title bar. It helps you to show what you've used in saving a particular page. Now let me try to save it. What if I want to save it? I'll come to file and i will okay and i have no i haven't done anything yet let me just try to draw a box and come to file you can see right here in this save you see that i click on save or uh at the front of this save you can see ctrl s so this ctrl s is the shortcut to save you see that you click here or you come right here and press ctrl plus s i mean ctrl s now let me try saving this so we're gonna call this interface interface and workspace and workspace now let's see what's going to happen right here yeah you can see right here at the title bar it has been changed to interface and workspace that has shown you that you've saved this particular page with interface and workspace under where do you save it under your c if you go to your user under your user all this slash slash you are seeing it means under under your local DC, under your users, under your comrade, and under your document, I've saved with it interface. So anyhow yours come. If yours is just desktop, go to your desktop and you're gonna see it automatically. So that's what I mean by title bar. The next on our list now is the menu bar. Now the menu bar is very very important in CorelDRAW. In fact, that's where the features of CorelDRAW lies. Now you can see if you come to your file, we have new. This new helps you to open a new page. If you are done working with your interface and workspace and you need a new page that you can save with another new name, you just come on your file and click on new or you press your control N. As you can see, if you want to open any job, you can just click on your job uh, on your open, you can open any job or you press control O. You can see it's stated after it control O. Now this open recent, I've done a lot of work earlier so this open recent will show you recent works you've done earlier now you can see close when you want to close this page if you are done with this page you're going to click on close and if you want to close the color draw entirely you're going to click on close all if you want to resave you want to you want to change the name in which it used to save your page earlier you just come to save as and click on it it's going to take it to a new uh, uh to a new savable um uh, page now acquire image i'm not going to talk about this but this is used for scanning so we don't have scanning here imports whenever you want to whenever you you need something for instance you want to work you want to work and you need you need a particular background to be you need a particular background to be on your page you can just come to wherever you've saved that particular thing and click on it after clicking on it you just uh let me try use this just click on import so this is going to give you anything so we use it to import uh, uh anything to to our page especially uh, uh images text and importable something on corridor it's not everything that is importable on corridor so it depends on uh on the file if corridor will support it or not now export uh i'll be looking at this I'll be looking at this uh, when we move so deeply into into this corridor. Export will help you to save your work such that you can so that you can easily uh, save it on your phone as image or as PNG or as as 
uh, as Photosh as PSD or as uh, Adobe in, in Norway. So that is the duty of export. Uh, I think these are the most uh, important aspect of this. Now, if you want to print your work, you come to print. So um, now paste. We all know what paste means. So whenever you copy a job or you copy a test or anything, if you want to paste it, you just come to your edit and click on paste. Now there's something very important while working on Corel Draw. Maybe you've done mistake. There's something we call Control Z. Now I I've taken this thing here. Now I want, to, I want it to go back to the way it is earlier. Instead of me trying to take this back back, I will just come right here, click on undo move. Undo move until I get it right to the particular place I want it to be. You can see I've gotten it right now. Now if I click kicking on uh, clicking on do move and it has taken me to a different place I don't want, you can redo. You can take it back to where you undo. So if I say redo delete. You can see it has taken me back to the uh, to the initial page. So uh, view view is not very uh, important now. Insert page. This insert page will help you to work on a particular. It will help you to work on a particular uh, um, on a particular work frame. For instance, as I'm as I'm having this work frame now, this is my page one. If I want to do like book work now, I want to do work similar to this. I don't want to save it with a different name. All I have to do is just to come to layout insert page. Now under here, you can choose how many, how many pages you want to insert. Okay, let me try to insert three pages and see. Just come here and change it to three. Then click on OK. There again, you can see we have three more pages. So that's four pages. Now if you want to work on page one, page two, page three, page four. So that is the uh, duty of of inserting page now if you want to delete the page just go through all this i will just be telling you the most important aspect they'll be going through it uh, now arrange arrange is not so very important now effect effects will be a different course on its own effect will be a different course on its own because this is where the most effective uh, uh, features of uh, of corridor lies and bitmap bitmap will help you to convert your work to uh, to bitmap as you all know uh, as you you can just check a dictionary and try to understand what bitmap means to help you to convert your work so that your work won't be too heavy to be light and under this uh, uh, 3d effect art blur creative when we're talking about effects we're gonna look at all these things um text these are not so very important now table uh we'll be looking at this when we are uh, talking about shapes and other things so i think these are the most essential part of this of this uh, uh menu bar so the next on our tutorial now is to go to toolbox now this toolbox this toolbox will also be a different it will be a different uh, uh, uh it will be a different title on its own so I wouldn't like us to go too deep in it, but as you can see this is our shape too. We use it to shape, we use this to zoom, we use this to draw lines, we use this to draw a, a rectangle, cycle, polygon. This is a text frame, text tool. We have shadow, we have your transparency too. We're going to treat that separately. It's also essential and we need to be very careful while treating that particular aspect. Now the next I'm going to talk about is the ruler. On corridor, whenever you are working, you need perfection. So, provided on the corridor work frame, uh, uh, on the corridor interface is a ruler. As you can see right here, as you are taking your mouse around, you can see that something is showing right there, and you can see these are calibrated. They are all calibrated in millimeter. Now, if you want to change, if you know you don't like uh, our ruling in millimeter, you can always change it to the unit you prefer most. Now, if you want to change it to the unit you prefer most. You just come right here to this unit you're gonna click on this arrow now you can choose your most prefer uh, uh, unit like me I, I prefer working with inches so I'm gonna work in inches so right here you can see it has been changed to inches so this ruler will help you to to rule whatever you want to rule okay you can see right here if you want a perfection maybe you want to draw you want to draw a box to start from here you can see 
you want to draw a cycle to start from here as you can see you want to draw a polygon you want to draw a polygon to start from here you can see so this will help you to align your works so that is the essence that is the essence of uh, uh of of ruling here so the next we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the work area now this work area has a lot of features which i would like to which i would like to explain to you now this uh, um this work area it has sizes now you need to declare your size wherever you want to work we have different of size so wherever you want to change the size you can just come right here you you can see page size you can choose the size of your choice so if you just click on this arrow it's going to cho show you different size you can see letter a5 so it depends on the size you want to work with and sometimes you want to work with a custom size that is a size that is not uh, declared here so whenever you want a size like that you just come right here like if you want to work with five by three you can just put this five you come right here you change this to three you change it to uh, you change this to three now right here you can see this is your size five by three right here you can see it's custom it means it's not declared you declare the size you want um so whenever you want to work sometimes there's something we call landscape and portrait right here your page is on landscape so sometimes you, you you want to work on portrait so all you have to do is just to come right here and change this to portrait it's going to bring it out straight so that is the duty of the work of the work area now uh, uh we're going to look at at the colors we want to look at colors right here you can see uh, your colors are declared are declared uh, here so right here you can choose any color you uh, you want to choose so whenever you want to make use of this color you can just uh, uh, have your box or anything you wish to uh you wish to color so if whenever you just click on it you can come here if you want to, not in uh, uh not generally in graphics our major color is four colors we have cyan we have magenta this is our magenta we have yellow and we have black so out of this cyan magenta yellow are black and black out of these four colors uh, uh we formed other colors any other color you see here comprise of either cyan or magenta or yellow or black so whenever you look right here and you know achieving the particular color you want you can just choose a similar color you can just choose a similar color maybe i want pink but this pink is not so okay for me so whenever i choose pink okay you can call it pink but right here is magenta so whenever i choose my magenta but i don't like the way it is i want to modify it you're gonna come here and you double click you click twice so after clicking twice it's gonna take you here so right here you can reduce the quantity you can change it to how you want it to be you can see right here we are having a baby pink so this how to these are to effect colors uh, and this is these are the colors we have right here um so the next on 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 our screen now is of these menus i've i've clicked earlier and explained to you if you can go through it and just try to check through what you have there if you face any challenge you can use the comment box below uh, uh, to ask me any question i'll be answering you and if i'm not uh, uh, answering you so quickly you can just come to my uh, uh, to my social media and do some mornings online you can ask me any question and i'll always get to you thank you once again